Open night is good, guys. Ooh, are you guys a little close, maybe? What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Let me adjust here and move my arms in this bitch, right? Get comfortable, man. Hope you guys are doing well, dude. Hope you're doing really well. I got shit everywhere. What's new? <laughs> so listen. Today, you've already read the title. Um, we're going to be showing you every bit piece to this thing. Uh, with the packaging and everything, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. I'm really excited to show you guys this. I've been running this thing into the ground. Um, I haven't got it that long ago. Usually, I put things through the ringer before they make it to video. Not this one. Uh, yeah, I think this one, uh, I think a lot of you are going to be pretty stoked on this device. Um, let's go over a couple of uh, features, all right? Um, this atomizer, okay, this rebuildable tank atomizer was designed by e right, and I'll write their link, and EH Pro. All right. um, there we go. Oh boy, did I lose you? I did. I lost it. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, it was a combination of the two, man. There we go. Yeah, pretty cool. 22 millimeters. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's just take it down and just get into this. That's what we should do. I'm all over the place. Like I said, guys, I've really been enjoying this, and I feel like a lot of you guys out there, I think we'll be pretty psyched on this. Okay, uh, there's a couple drawbacks. We'll get into that. Man. We'll get into that. Let's take it down, man. Let's take it down. Here, I'll move this over. Here we go. Come here. I think we're good. Adjust you a little bit. That's not bad. There is it, guys. Oh, there it is, man. So, the billow. Hopefully, that's the right way up for you guys. Okay. The billow. So, here's the packaging. Um, and you can see I have it pulled out. This goes all the way in, but it's a pain in the butt. So, I just left it halfway in. Okay. On the back, you got all the goodies there. Okay. A little warning. And you get this kind of box right here. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. Just lift the lid here, and that's what you're going to get. Now, the billow itself will be wrapped in cellophane type wrap. Okay. Um, and that's it. And as you can see here with the packaging, um, it's very loose. Um, although it does hold it in place, and it did come to me fine. Um, it was, it was, there's some slopping around in there, guys. Okay, uh, so make sure you check it very thoroughly when you get it. As you remove that piece here, you get some little o rings. Okay, cool. Some canthal, what appears to be 28 gauge, guys, maybe even 26. Okay, two pieces for two coils, and it looks like some eco wool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop all this back in then. Pull this out just for you guys, man, for sure, just to peep. Yeah, this thing was kind of intense to get off, man. I was like, Ugh, just beating the living bejesus out of it. But, uh, yeah, nice packaging overall. Yeah. Pull it down just a little bit more. I'm going to my box. Pull out my stand here, okay? So we're going to end up using that. Here it is, man. The bellow. Check this thing out, okay? Now as I spin it, uh, we'll kind of talk about it, okay? Um, four very deep juice wells on this thing. Um, also, think uh, the Orchid, guys. Four post design, um, four deep juice wells. Uh, these guys did a pretty good job. Now, you're probably looking at the airflow going, damn! <laughs> 2.5 mils, guys, both sides. Very nice. Um, I really like this pinstripe look they have here. Um, as well as on the drip tip. The drip tip comes with it, okay? Um, yeah, we're gonna totally disassemble this thing. On the bottom, okay, your serial number, and right there, designed by EH Pro and E Siggity, okay? Uh, both airflows uh, are adjustable, man, okay? This is similar to the EH Pro uh, K-Fun Lite Plus version two clone, all right? Um, but yeah, fully adjustable. And a little larger than, well, they might be the same. Um, but they definitely work, okay? Um, the top here, okay? 
drip tip. Let's go ahead and pull that out. It's a dual o ring drip tip. Okay. Bore is the exact bore as this, which is nice. So they did their homework there. Uh, good job, guys. Good job on that. Um, yeah, let's take this thing apart, man. Let's just start from the top here. Um, everything's kind of held together. You're probably noticing this right now. It's just quartz. All right, very thick quartz glass, uh, and this thing can hold five mils, guys. And I think the problem with the Orchid, uh, you know, do I have mine? No, I don't. With the Orchid clones, um, they just don't hold enough juice. I mean, now the new versions can definitely hold a little more. This thing holds five mils, guys, and it goes a long, long ways, okay? Let's pull it off. Okay, top cap, and it's a very nice snug fit. Let's go ahead and just kind of Okay, there we go, and, okay, pull that right off, and this is what you're left with right here, okay, now you're going to notice this, um, kind of plastic flange, if you will, okay, a little gasket, a little rubber gasket here, it sits right in this channel here, and that's what your glass, this quartz glass sits on, and I'm going to pull it off the bottom, okay, just like that. Let me move this over here. And it, and it just sits right on there. Now, what's nice about this, I'm going to go ahead and just put this on. It's really easy to put on, too, which I like. Just pop it on. But I kind of go the extra mile with this. Um, like, I'll take this little Phillips here, old pinky, and uh, I'll make sure that it's in there, you know? Just kind of go around, make sure the gasket's kind of in there. Okay, nice and uniform. But the way this sits on there is so nice, guys. Um, and what's really cool with the way they designed this uh, with other tanks um, is usually the glass or whatever kind of material they're using for this, okay, sits sometimes, most of the time, against metal, right? So the longevity is pretty small. I really like this. It's always cushioned, guys. Wherever it's touching, it's cushioned. Okay. Uh, very slick indeed. Um, that makes me that I was stoked about that. Um, as you can see, nice fit. Okay, everything's really snug on here. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and just fix this one more time. Put that off to the side. Uh, we kind of went over this. Okay, very thick and very clean as well. Look at that, guys. Uh, one blemish on it though. Where are you? Yeah, I mean, it's really nothing, guys. I mean, you can barely even notice it's there. So, uh, very happy with the quality here. Yeah, it's just a little guy right there. See it? Yeah, that's it. Man. But yeah, very thick. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side. And I think we went over the drip tip. Uh, that kind of, that striped look. I really like that, how it kind of coincides with the rest of the atomizer. Um, these little notches here definitely play... A huge part in this atom and the this tank um, for grip. Uh, really nice they did that. Really nice. Okay, put these both to the side and we'll get to here the chimney. Now the design here is a little different than what you're used to. Okay, um, what they did is they reduced the size of the chimney as much as they possibly could. Okay, um, to preserve the flavor but also giving you enough space on the deck for you to build on, which is nice, guys, okay? Very cool, okay? So here is the chimney section, all one piece. Um, little O-ring at the top, and like we were talking about earlier, okay, that just screws on. So it's, everything's gonna be held tight. O-ring on the top, okay, is really gonna keep juice from getting out, okay? And again, very smooth. Very nice quality here. Um, okay, there's the engraving right here. I just want like a laser engraving. Maybe a little closer. Maybe you can get a better look at it. There we go. Okay, very nicely done, right, guys? <laughs> Not bad. Uh, you can see those juice. Let's pull this off. Okay, threading is extremely nice on this. Okay, and I want you to notice right here. Bam. Okay, there we go. Now you're gonna see some a lot of cool things going on here, okay? Besides the huge juice channels, look at those. 
Isn't that great, man? Everything Juice I put in here in his wick, fantastic. Uh, very, very cool. If I didn't mention, copper. Okay, copper 510 connection there, guys. Okay. Um, a lot of cool things. First of all, you're going to notice the height of the posts themselves. Okay. A lot higher than the orchid. Right, for one. For two, you're going to notice these Cyclops style air holes right here, right? Um, the passage comes in and it comes out. Now, you know, it's circular on the inside. Let me see if I can get a little closer, guys. See how it's kind of circular in there? But then it's Cyclops at the top. Pretty cool, man. Um, what's great about this? More surface uh, area for your air, right? Um, it's really going to hit the bulk of your coil. So I try and keep my coils the same size as this, okay? Is that Cyclops portion, and they lifted it up. Check that out. Very cool, man. That's gonna help prevent leaking, okay? For post design, let me take Pinky here. Let's open up these air, these eyelets. Really nice, generous eyelet size, guys. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to be building this thing. Let me just get them all the way open for you, and then I'll show you. Okay, Phillips heads hold everything down. There we go. Generous, right? And straight. Nice and straight. Okay, when I got mine, um, not a crispity, crunchity anywhere, man. I was really happy about that. Um, nice threading, nice deep juice wells, really stoked. And again, same gasket as the top. Is on the bottom okay but as you can see that glass is just gonna sit there on that cushion very cool now let me just go this on the hair real quick now as you can see the height of the um, post themselves makes it so nice to build guys and it really keeps those coils up off of the deck okay um, as a matter of fact let's just build this thing okay yeah, let's just build. Yeah, let's just build. Enough talk. Enough talk. You guys have seen it. Um, before I build, I like to come onto this gasket right here, and I like to make sure it's all down and in. Okay. I don't want to play with this later on after the build. I want to be able to build it, put the glass on, um, and fill it with juice. Okay. So I'm just gonna come through up a little bit more okay I know some of my uh, regulars on this channel are wondering where the other one is of my stands went well it's my man Joe shout out to Joe Edgeworth man okay see how it's kind of uniform all the way around just make sure that that's the way it is guys you don't want to play with that later okay back it up just a hair here that's pretty good so, as you can see, I mean, huge build area on this. Huge. Right? Nice size. Um, also, keep in mind with your coil to... See, see, there you go. See how reduced that is? Now, imagine the screw screwed all the way down on those posts. Pretty reduced, guys. Okay? So, I try to keep my coils the same height as the top of that center block, okay? Or the post, all of them, just is about the same height, okay? Cool, let's do it. What do I have here? I have a 28 gauge twisted canthal, all right? Nice and twisted up, and I've already torched it. Okay, give some strength here. Um, I'm gonna do seven wraps, 332nd micro screwdriver, okay? Seven wraps of micro coil style. Seven wraps. Okay, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got here. And there we go. Okay, there it is right there. Seven wraps. Okay, I want to do that one more time. Yeah, I don't know if you guys actually want to watch me wrap the coils themselves, um, but if you do, man, we can totally do that. 
five, six, and seven. Okay, nice and nice and tight here. I'm gonna clip off these extra. They're, they're pretty long here. There we go. Make sure you got one lead longer than the other. All right. One lead longer than the other there. Cool, man. I'm just gonna bring in just a hair closer. There we go. So here's what I'm gonna do, man. I have both my coils here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and feed them in. Now I'm gonna utilize it this way. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go put it in the outside the post. I'm gonna skip this one and go to this one right there. Okay. That's gonna help me center it. I mean, as you can see already, no snagging. I can push that thing right up in there. No snagging at all, okay? Very cool. But I'm gonna pull this back out, all right? Because I'm gonna go ahead and thread this one now, okay? I'm gonna go ahead. Now, the trick can be putting in this one, okay? Trying to clip this is a pain in the butt after you build it. So I'm trying to set myself up like this. Like I'll pull it in. I'll bend this lead up, just like that, okay, out of my way, okay, so that way I can come in, okay, just like that, and that bend is going to keep that coil there, all right, again, I'm going to bend up, pull forward, and that, I'm just going to continue that. As you guys can see there, hopefully. I'm pulling it in, I'm bending it up. Okay, you take your time. There's no hurry. Okay, no hurry. So I kind of have this mess right now. Okay, it's kind of a mess, right? No problem, guys. No problem at all. And hopefully it stays in the shop, man. So I'm going to tighten up my negative first. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to put this in. And just kind of eyeball. I want it close. But I want to be able to move it towards the center. Okay, so I got it pretty close here. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten down the negative first. Okay. Nice and snug. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. And repeat on this side. Okay, pop it in. The reason I like popping this in is because I'm going to pull on this, and that way it doesn't like mess up my coil. You know what I mean? That should be pretty good right there. Yeah, that's pretty good right there, man. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down the negative. Thing I notice about these screws, guys. Um, when you're first building it, be very really careful. Um, these things can cut right through wire. 28 gauge, 26 gauge, it'll just cut right through it, okay? So, snug enough is good, man. You know, I'm really happy with how this is sitting. Let me pull this out. And show you guys, okay? It's still kind of a mess. But I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down one center at a time, okay? One positive screw at a time. So I'm gonna start with this one, okay? I'm gonna tighten down this one. Okay. Remember, take your time. These things can cut right through it. It's a trip. That's good, okay? And now I'm gonna go ahead and move it over right now. Lift it up just a hair and push it over. That's good, okay? I'm directly over that, okay? Now, this is not the end of the build by any means, but I'm just setting it up right now, okay? Because we're going to do a lot of tweaking with this, okay? I'm going to go ahead and spin this around, move this out of the way, and hopefully it'll show again. Nice and, nice and snug. You don't want the coil, you want the coil to be directly over that cyclops, uh, or directly over their hole, so I'm just going to call it from now on, but... Um, so that way you can utilize it, right? Because you really want good wicking in here. And it's similar to like a dripping atomizer. Um, you want the pocket underneath. 
Okay, and you want air around the coil so air can like can come up, hit the coil, go around, and then up to the mouthpiece. Okay, um, this is not the place to leave the coil where it is. Okay, we really want to utilize that and to get good wicking out of it. And that's good. That's good. And to get good wicking out of this is uh, is to have even amount of cotton on each side of the coil, and and really the way to achieve that is with a centered coil, guys. Okay, so there we go. Pretty centered. I'm pretty happy with that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through. I'm going to snug up these end ones because I know that they weren't really tight at all. Okay. Again, I'm being very careful not to just cut right through that wire, because it will. Okay. Let me clip. Keep your finger on it. Okay, I'm gonna clip the negative. Hold it as you cut it, man. Nothing worse than getting up in the middle of the night for a glass of milk or something, dude, and just, oh! Get like a dual macro coil stuck in your big toe. <laughs> All right, so. Now, remember what we were talking about earlier? Clipping these. What a pain in the butt, right? That's why I did it the way I did it, okay? Also, you can just put in one coil at a time, set it up, clip it, pull it out, okay? Do the same on the other side. So you just have these two little coils with just little teeny leads, and then you can put them in that way as well. That works too. But I want to do it this way because I want you guys to see how I've been doing it. I like to leave this in there. Keeps my coil nice and round. Okay. I'm going to fold it out like this so we can get in there. Go in tight. Got it. Okay. Readjust. Lift up a little bit. Good. I'm going to do the same on this side. I just like to leave the screwdriver in there because it'll keep it round. Okay, I don't want to crush this by any means. Lay it down. Going after it. Be confident when you do that, guys. Mean it. Okay. Push it back towards the middle. Because the one thing you don't want to do here is you don't you want to get it as close as you can clip. See, I can barely see anything, but it's not near the coil. If that extra lead. Let's say I would have clipped it up here by the screw and it touched this, it'll pop your coil, man. Okay? Real short. So you want that pretty as flush as you can possibly get it. I'm happy with that. I could probably even take this one and like lay that down a little more. And I might even do that. But here's the build, guys. Okay? I'm inside of the deck. I'm inside of this. I'm running my fingers around. I'm not touching coil. That's good, because your coil is not, cannot, it should never touch the walls of this. It'll short, okay? You need ample space in there with your coils, okay? They're pretty much the same height. Um, this right here, this lead right here that you guys can see, right? We got a pointer here, guys. Right there, this one. Be wary of that touching this. Again, that's a short, okay? I can go up a little further on this one. So I'm going to. I want these the same height. I want them up off the Cyclops. And I want them the exact same height. And I want them level. And I want them centered. Keep everything inside the deck. Okay, this is the same way I do. Um, might work a build. Not bad. I could probably still go up, but it's pretty flat for the most part. Okay, like that one, kind of angled down. I like to take my time with this stuff. You know, take your time with this stuff. Get it right where you want it. I'm directly on top of those air holes, and that's good, man. I'm good with that, okay? Um, space between the coil and the positive post right here, which is great for air. 
Boom right there again. Great for air. Let's measure it. Let's measure it. Okay, 28 gauge. 0.4-ish right there. Okay, so there you go, man. 0.41. Nice solid reading there, guys. Okay, 28 gauge, 7 wraps, 28 gauge twisted canthal. 7 wraps, 332nd bit. Okay, so let me go ahead and have a vape real quick, guys. Let me back it up just a hair here. Okay, I got my IPv3 here. We're gonna go ahead and fire this. Okay. And we're gonna set these coils up real nice. Okay. Grab my ceramic tweezers and we're gonna pulse and pinch. Okay. Oh. I'll give it uh, 30 watts. Thirty watts at a point four. Hopefully that reading for you guys. Okay, let's go ahead. Pulse it. Take your time, nice and easy. Okay, pinch, light pinch, light pinch. Sign. Light pinch. I want these pretty tight. So I'm going to fire it, I'm going to pinch it, and I'm going to go ahead and hold it. Okay. I'm going to try and get these pretty tight. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Okay. And I'm kind of helping it with my tweezer. You probably saw me pinch it and twist it there. Um, I, I noticed that the coil was sagging a little bit, and under no circumstances can it touch anything on this deck. Okay. And that's what it was trying to do. I'm training these coils. I'm putting them where I want them to be. Here we go. And by the way, these are glowing. Um, by the way, these are glowing. Just a hair more, guys. I'm going to go 35 here, guys. take my time on these and I'm strumming it what does strumming do there's a lot of theories but it works man uh, if you're having trouble and you see what I'm doing here I'm literally I'm just taking this and I'm just strumming it softly okay everything looks pretty good man I'm pretty happy with this okay I think that's great yeah I'm really happy with that and that's where we'll leave it guys 0.4 ohms that's great, man. Let's stick with it. Let's stick with it. I'm going to go ahead and pull it off of the um, IPv3 here for the wicking portion of this video, man. Okay, we're on the tenderfoot stand here. Okay. Let's bring it back in. There we go, man. Cool. So I got some cotton here. I'm using uh, some humble wick and wire. This is similar to uh, little cotton bacon, stuff like that, okay? okay. So I'm going to pull, mm, let's see, pretty decent piece like that. Throw this back in the bag. Okay, move this off to the side here. So I want, how much cotton do you want in these things? You know, that's kind of the question. Um, and it really does vary. Um, I'm going to stick with that right there. I'm going to see how that treats me right here. Okay. Maestro method. Okay. Put it on. Roll it back. 
Okay, I'm not putting pressure on it. I just call this the maestro method. And you kind of get this. Okay, it's like a tube. Okay. That might be a little too much. Um, but the amount of cotton I want here, guys, is actually quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to pull this through. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be perfect, actually. So I'm pulling it through, right? On this side, I'm going to tug this way, and this side, I'm going to tug this way, nice and easy. Okay. Okay. That's good. I want it tight. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I want it tight. Okay. I want it tight, but not... Definitely not loose. I just want it nice and full in there. Okay. Another piece here. I'm just going to repeat, guys. I'm just going to pull it back. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to peel some more off of that. Okay. And again, I'm going to repeat. Pop it in. Okay. As I'm pulling, I'm feeling it. Okay. That's great right there, man. I mean, that's great. I don't know if you guys can see how tight that is. Right? It's very full, very voluptuous on the cotton. Right? I'm going to cut it just off the base. Just like that, guys. Okay? Just like that. Like, I'm just off the base by like two mils at the most right here. Okay? I'm going to repeat. Just like that, man. Just like that. That's great. Cool. Okay, so. Oh no. Where's my pick? There it is. Okay, I'm going to use a pick here. You can use whatever you're comfortable with, man. All right. Whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to try and keep this in the shot. Okay, this is going to be probably the most difficult part of this video process. <laughs> but I'm going to take it from the bottom of the cotton, and I'm going to tuck it under. Okay, just like that. Okay, push it in. Run my pick down. Pop it in. Okay, what's great about this RTA is the way, because they have this. You can just jam cotton in there, okay? That's what I'm looking at. Let's repeat. Okay. Let me see if I can come from this way. No, I know I could probably pull this away and uh, just wick it, and I could do this really fast, but that doesn't benefit you guys. So deal with me as I kind of... It's really easy to, to do this. Okay. One thing I'm keeping in mind is I want to leave this entire airflow section wide open. You see how there's no cotton in there. It's super important. Okay. That's it. Let's pull it over. Do it again. Start at the bottom. Tuck it under. Okay. Um, you're probably noticing I'm not sticking anything down in that in these channels right here. Nothing at all. Okay. You want to keep it to the top. Now this thing wicks extremely well in the amount of time that I've had it, not one dry hit, okay? Not one. Okay, tucking that under. And if you feel like you got too much, dude, clip it. Pull it out, clip it. No big deal, man. There we go. I'm happy with that, okay? This side now. This one's a little fluffier. A little lighter on the cotton than the other ones I've already done. That's it, man. Okay. Let me go ahead and just do a couple of adjustments when I can get a good view just like that. And I can remember, just like the coils, you want to keep it inside of the deck. Okay. And it's snug. Okay. You want it just down in there nice. I take my time on this. No hurry here, man. Think of this as a game. 
you're protecting this section right here, this air hole. That's where you're gonna get your leaking from, okay? So use the cotton as a barrier that there's always somewhere with cotton the juice can get soaked up with, okay? Think of the game, you're protecting that, okay? Pull this around. Somebody said that I say K a lot and it's really annoying. <laughs> Do you make a drinking game out of it, it's all good. Here we go. Okay. Pop that down. And I'm just, I'm, I'm really particular when it comes to wicking this thing. I want it right where I want it. I don't want to put on the glass and the chimney and realize and even second guess this thing. You know? Here's a top view of it. You can even pinch it a little bit. That's the top view, man. Okay. I really don't like that. Whatever that's doing. There we go. Just like that, man. Both air holes are wide open, which is great, man. This thing has great airflow. But everything's identical. Okay. I'm gonna pop it back on to the IPv3. So I'm gonna try and show you guys something. This is what I've been doing. And this is this is how I wick this. I'll try and leave it like that. Well, maybe like this. Okay, I'm gonna take my juice. I'm gonna try and keep this in the shot, guys. There we go. So I'm gonna put a little right here. Right here. And I'm gonna hit the button. See how it soaked it up? And I'm gonna continue to do that. Until the cotton is just about soaked, and you guys should see that happening here pretty soon. And because I can't stare at the at this other side really, except for through the camera, I might get a little leaking because of that. But I'm gonna continue to do this, and I'm just pulsing the button. I'm just tapping it. You can probably hear me hit it. Listen. Okay, I'm stopping right there. Okay, good. Now, hopefully, you guys can see this. See how wet it is? It's not fully saturated, but it's pretty saturated. I want these, the cotton, wet, but not too wet for this section. Okay, let me back you up. Pull this off. And by the way, that little juice and hit the button technique works fantastic. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do, man. Because these are juiced up, the corners of these cotton, I'm going to put on my chimney. Okay, now right here, you don't want to force it. It should just slide right over like that. Okay. When I screw this on, I go slow. I want the cotton to stay where it is. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want this chimney section to move anything I did. And I can feel there's no resistance. But why am I going slow? Because the juice is building up on the wall of this and giving it lubrication for it to spin freely without jamming up the cotton. And it's okay, man. It just takes a few extra seconds. Okay? Done. Nice and tight. Okay? So now we have that section done. At this point, I like to suck it in. Feels great. All right. Next up, glass section, man. Let's pop this on. Remember how we fixed it earlier? Boom, just like that. Okay, nice snug fit. It looks pretty even all the way around. That gasket looks even, right? Okay, next up, top cap. Make sure the gasket's the same way. We've already done that, remember? Um, and I'm looking at it right now, just double check. Looks good. Threads right onto there. Threads on this are great, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take my time and screen this on. Now it's kind of a counteract spinning here. Should feel snug. Now at this point, I want to double check both rings. These silicone grubs look pretty good, man. So I'll give it a little muscle. Not too tight, though. Nice and tight. 
Done. That's it, man. Pretty slick looking, isn't it? Also, I've noticed the chimney, this section right here, is wider than a K fund, which is really nice. I'm really excited they did that. And you know what? I would use this drip tip. I think this two puffs looks too sick on there, man. Check that out. That's sexy. Okay, let's fill it, man. Now, I have the, um, the airflow wide open on here. Okay. Uh, also, there's a little O-ring on the screw, guys, which is nice. Okay. I have Redemption here from Pope Juice. Uh, Redemption, delicious, man. Review coming really soon for him. Okay. Got some juice on my finger. Filling it. Couldn't be easier, man. Popping in. Okay. Just like that. I like to keep it kind of tilted sideways. I've noticed when I have it straight up and down, the juice will go into those channels and it'll flood and fall out the drip tip. So I just go off the side and I just tilt it. You know what I mean? Um, now, when filling this, you probably see that not only do I have it upside down, but cock, you know, it's angled. Um, take your time filling it, man. You know, you don't want to create any flooding here. This is a one-shot deal. Okay? One-shot deal. That's what I want this to be for you guys. Okay. Where am I going to fill it to? Do you see these two airflow, those two channels right there? Just to there. Okay. So when it gets to that point, right there, I'm going to be done with it. Okay. No leaking at the bottom. Which means we're doing it very well. Okay, put it on, flip it right side up. Watch the airflow. See that bubble right there? Make sure that goes to the top first. When that goes to the top, go ahead and tighten it all the way down. Okay. And like I said, it's light and it always happens. That's the only downfall with this. Let me bring it back up, guys. Yeah, the only downfall to this thing that I found so far is that um, it only happens once in a while. It's not a big deal. Like, it's done. But it leaked on the side. But do that once, you're good. And that's that's the problem. Um, that's one negative so far that I found. Um, also, when you leave this on its side, okay? Also, when you leave this on its side, it tends to leak out the air holes as well. All right? And I'm talking like this. It'll leak. Um, not often, but it will. Okay, So it's really not really pocket friendly, maybe. Um, let's vape it for a minute. Dude. I need a vape. Great flavor, first of all. Um, it's fun to build. Uh, you know, besides the, I mean, you just saw it right there. You probably saw the drop fall. That, that happens once in a while, but really, after you vape it a few times, like I have now, it's done. Um, I'll run through this whole tank. Not a dry hit, man. This thing can keep up, which is nice, and it's a very airy. Chucks it. You saw it, uh, 28 gauge, it, it's not really, it's just barely warm, which I like. Um, I'm getting a great throw hit at 3 milligrams from this. Uh, like I said, flavor really nice in this. Uh, it's a solid vape. Um, a few different wicking techniques I still want to play with on this. But this is a pretty solid build. All right? So if you get this, you go for this build, I really think you'll be impressed with it. Um, I'm gonna hold this up. There's the two airflow channels. It'll probably wick here in a second. But you can watch it. Just sit there and just take juice, man.
Yeah, this one looks like it might be. But as you sit there and you use it, you'll just watch these huge bubbles just come out of those channels. You can just see it wicking, dude. Um, it can keep up ridiculously well. And I'm, not, I'm really not pulling on this. Let's give it a health pull, yeah? Uh, as you can see, I mean, you can go to town with this thing. Oh, there we go. And it'll do that constantly. Um, it, 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 it couldn't be easier. I think the trick with this is to keep those coils directly above those air holes, guys. Um, there it goes again. <laughs> I mean, it's just, once it's dry, it's taken more in. It's intense. It's definitely intense, man. <laughs> uh, I this one's recommended for me, guys. Let me, let me, like I said, I'll write down the website one more time. I know I said I would earlier. I'm gonna do it again. Man. Price on this: twenty nine ninety nine. Meant for me, Siggity dot com. All right. Oh wow, you saved ten dollars as well. It looks like they're sold out. Um, they're expecting more on the twenty eighth. Right on, man. I want to get a video up for Thanksgiving, man. Be safe out there. Uh, you know, enjoy your friends and family, dude. Enjoy hanging out with them. What a beautiful thing it is, you know. Um, Fate family, happy Thanksgiving to you, man. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. It's a total blast building this thing. Uh, forgive me if I was all over the place because it's been a while. <laughs> uh, again, easy to build. Highly recommend it for me. Very airy. And it can keep up, dude. Mm. Redemption is so good. So that's it, man. That's it. If you have any questions whatsoever for me, you can comment down below or email me at tjvapingreviews at aol.com, man. I try to get back to everybody. If I missed you, hit me up again, man. Some something happened, dude. Hit me up again. Let's end this. Class. You know what the billow, dude. Take care, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Be safe out there.